In just one year, Marion County saw an around 31% increase of deadly crashes. In light of that and recent events, IMPD says it's taking a district by district approach to tackle this issue and target hotspots like right here along the 38th Street corridor. Across Indianapolis, there's been an increase in reckless driving, traffic deaths, and accidents with serious injuries. The pandemic only seemed to amplify the problem, with deadly crashes increasing around 31% from 2019 to 2020. Unfortunately, we've seen a lot of innocent lives taken by the careless actions and driving uh, behaviors of others. So IMPD is tackling the problem district by district, focusing on hot spots in each area. Officers will increase proactive or stationary patrols to show their presence and let drivers know they're watching. The focus really is just to slow cars down, stop them. One area officers are targeting, 38th Street. And it's not just speeders IMPD is concerned about. We've had an increase in street racing. Uh, some of that along 38th Street, along Benford Boulevard. The 38th Street corridor has been the site of several deadly and serious crashes over the last few years. Over the course of time, I've seen multiple accidents. Had one, the drivers, they hit there and they ran up my yard. Barbara Starks lives near the Crown Hill Cemetery, where North District officers have put a big emphasis on stopping reckless driving. There has been an increased effort to have officers on stationary patrol, providing a deterrent factor. That was the idea over the weekend when IMPD stationed officers near 38th and Keystone. Shortly after I joined the officers, police dealt with a different type of reckless driving during a police chase. When you talk about reckless driving, whether it be pursuit driving or just everyday driving, that's a big concern to us. This is a situation that's impacting our country. Make smart decisions, slow down, right? Drive carefully. IMPD says if you see a reckless driver out on the road, they ask that you call police. You can also email to their community relations person. Each district has one of those who will pass along those concerns to be looked into. Reporting on the north side, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News.